lot going on today. We got yeah. people cooking. It smells so good in here already. We've got a local star joining us. Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. We are super excited to start off the week chatting with this gal. It's Kate Baldwin. She grew up in Milwaukee and attended Shorewood High School, but now she's building her Broadway career, which includes two Tony nominations. And in just a few minutes, we're going to tell you where you can meet her tonight. Good to have you here. Hey, so thank Good you so morning. much for having me. Thanks for Absolutely. being here. How's it feel to be home? How often do you get back to Shorewood area? Uh, not very often. Yeah. I think the last time I was here was in 2016, the spring, and uh, my uh, teacher, Barbara Gensler, and I had a nice yeah. visit. Um, and so I think that was the last time I was here. I had been working, I was working in Chicago at the time, so I just mm -hmm. came up for the day. But this is the first time I'm like spending a night and like hanging well, out. You're welcome. That's Thank so you. great. You have an impressive um, list of musicals just from high school. Because yeah. in high school, <laughs> you were in Greece, right? My Fair Lady, yep. Into the Woods, you were Cinderella, <gasps> yes. and you played, um, you were in Evita. <laughs> There's that's a picture of me in high school. So that was the final. Uh, You've aged costume. well. Thank you very much. <laughs> I figured out my forehead. That's, for sure. um, that's a dress that was made for My Fair Lady. Um, okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's Evita. So I. And my, you were a senior I when was my senior year. Again, okay. That's my teacher, uh, Barbara Gensler, and she's wearing the sweatshirt and the big Cute. grin. And so uh, I played Ava Perone at the tender age of 17, which maybe uh, is not something I'd recommend for most people, but I loved it. It. Yeah, I had the best time. It was so much fun. Well, so what's exciting. cool about your teacher is then she came to Hello Dolly, which was your um, one of your last nominations for a Tony Award, right? When you played Irene, I played Irene Malloy in the most recent revival of Hello Dolly, starring Bette Midler and uh, Bernadette Peters, which we'll get to in a second. Uh, yeah. we, got, we both want to know about that. But Barbara, she was backstage, and that's how the whole conversation came to be about you coming no, actually, here. actually, Susan Hyman, who works at the Skylight, she was the person. Gotcha. But she's, but she's dear friends with with Mrs. Gens. I still call her Mrs. Gensler. She's <laughs> She's my teacher. As one her. should. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, that's how this um, conversation began. And I thought, what better way to come back to Milwaukee yeah. than to come back to the skylight, offer an evening of songs, help raise money for this institution that is now celebrating its 60th year and is uh, the place that I went to and saw musicals as a kid and so inspired cool. me. So nice of you. And I think yeah. we have an incredible theater community totally. in the Milwaukee area. There's for lots sure. of impressive stuff going on and some great shows. I want to know what the song was that landed you your first Broadway job. Um, it was a song called Look What Happened to Mabel, oh, uh, which is a song. Never heard I don't of know it. it. Yeah, it's from an, kind of an obscure musical called Mac and Mabel that doesn't get okay. done very often, but it's also a Jerry, Jerry Herman wrote that score okay. as well. He also wrote Hello, Dolly. So and We'll let you sing things. it right now. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> You know what? We're better. gonna be your judges. You yeah, can, I'm you kidding. Can come tonight. <laughs> yes. Tonight we'll I'm gonna do it at the skylight. Oh, you are. Yeah, Perfect. I am. So well, you're prepared. Yeah, is what so, you're telling us. Yeah. Well, we'll have a, a you know, <laughs> penis. It'll sound much better. I promise. I promise. Um, but it was a song where uh, um, I. It, it was a funny song because I had choreographed it. Uh -huh. I was a I was a dancer of, of of you know of limited ability. But um, I choreographed it and made it into this like cute 1920s number. And the show that I was auditioning for is called Thoroughly Modern Millie. Yes. I don't know if you remember the I movie. I know that one. And yeah. Then, mm -hmm. then we did the Broadway show in 2003. Um, and the people who who heard the song liked it so much that they asked me to sing it again wow. immediately. I ended up singing that song seven times. <gasps> For that audition? For that audition, over the course of probably, you know, 13, 14 months to land the job. And because uh, usually would you switch up the song? Are you saying? Yes, but they kept gotcha. requesting the same thing. And by the end of it, they were doing all the hand gestures <laughs> with me. So, That's you know, adorable. Jazz, 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 jazz. I think they thought it was adorable. And uh, thank God. Yeah, I, I actually got the job. It was really nice. That's, That's awesome. <laughs> well, so what was it like? We got to go back to Bette Midler. What yeah. was it like working with Bette Midler and, and Bernadette? Well, they're two extraordinary mm -hmm. women. Uh, nobody works harder than Bette Midler. I'm telling you, the very last performance. We did that. I did that show. Because I, I feel like at this point, she could skate, right? Yeah. She could just skate in life if she wanted to. She could, Bette like. Bette Midler will never just skate. That's, yeah, I, that's, that's incredible so impressive. to hear. That's I love hearing course. about somebody with a good work ethic. Oh, for sure. That's awesome. Yeah. And, and um, you know, wants to know what's happening in, in every sort of aspect of it. Mm. Like, why are, you, why are you wearing this? Why are you saying that? You know what I mean? Yeah. And she, um, to the very last performance. We did the show like about 550 times. <laughs> she, I went into her dressing room to say have a good show for the last one and she had her script in front of her and she was going through it and you could see wow. like, on the page you could see where her fingers had touched it so many times that it was you know uh, you could see there. through it. 
you know, that wow. she cares so much. She cared so yeah, much. Yeah, that's cool. Huh. And she wanted so much to be a part of the Broadway community yeah. and to, to do right by it, you know, because I think she had done Broadway shows when she was younger and then she went off and had this incredible cr recording career and film career and, you know, became Bette Midler and yeah. then was coming back and was like, gosh, I hope I get this right. So maybe she was nervous. I, I, well, yeah. it, it didn't show. Yeah. She was having a great time. We were all having so a great cool. time. And the audience was having a great time, you know, loving her. We have so some cool. fun rapid fire. I really want to make sure we <gasps> yes. get to, so oh we can get to know you better. But just real quick, are you married, single, yeah. kids? I have a husband. Okay. He's also an actor. He's oh, kind of, wow. Uh, yeah. He's uh, in theater? In theater, but he does primarily voiceovers now. He's okay. He's like lots of audiobooks and uh, voiceovers for video games and podcasts. Oh, so he is and, one of those voices. Yeah, he'd walk in here <laughs> and he'd be like, oh, got you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, his name is Graham Rowett, and he uh, is Canadian. Um, oh, cool. And he's awesome. And uh, our son, uh, Colin, is eight years old and Aww. just starting third grade. Congrats. Aww. We live in Maplewood, New Jersey. That's From so Charlotte great. to Maplewood. It was so fun. That's great. We grew up... Were you born in Evanston? I was born in Evanston. I'm from Glen Allen. Get out! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you went to Northwestern, I went to right? Northwestern. For theater. Yes, Good for I you. Did yeah. Awesome. That was, it was great. I had sort of intended to go to college further away from home, but I ended up just yeah. you know going across the Good for the you state though. line. It's awesome. Nice. It's and you get right time with family. That's yeah. For sure. yeah. All right. You All right. Start yes. Let's start it off. Okay. First one. Do you have a nervous habit? Uh, yes, touching my hair. Haven't you noticed? Oh. I did. Yeah, all the time. My dad is like, stop it. <laughs> if you could perform. Your mother would say, like, spray it back. Yeah. Yes. Just right? Get your hair on your something. face. Just do use something. a clip. Yeah. Just do something. Um, if you could perform with anyone on stage who have never performed with, who uh -huh. would that be? Who would the person be that I've never performed with? Oh, Hugh Jackman. Oh. oh right? Good okay. One. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. I'm tall. He's nice tall. choice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite way to unwind? Glass of wine. There mm -hmm. you go. Good girl. Uh, what's a fi your favorite thing in your closet? This coat, I just bought it. I love it. Yeah, Alice and Olivia. Sassy. Guys, Fits great. you perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have any recurring dreams about performing? Oh my gosh. No, but I do have that dream of like showing up for my English test. We just talked English. about it we last week. We just talked about that. And having Are never, you in high school or college? Or? It's, for me, it's high school. Okay. I can yep. picture my classroom at Short High School. Yeah. And do you, did you not show up all year for the class and now you have to take uh -huh. a test? Yeah, and, I yep. no and you're unprepared. Yep. I've never read Moby Dick. I don't know what it is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so this is sort of a three part question. What's your favorite musical? I, that's tough. I have three. Is okay. that okay? Yep. Yeah. Uh, West Side Story, Into the Woods, and Sweeney Todd. Okay. okay. And what has been your favorite show to be in? You know, it's a tough question because it's like picking your favorite child. Yeah. I only have one, so. Uh, that helps. Yeah. Uh, it's like, um, it's it's always the show that I'm working on currently because okay. you kind of have to fall in love with it's what you're answer. doing in, yeah. in the Be moment. Present. Yeah, be, mm -hmm. being present and, and loving what you're doing. So, What one role do you really want to play um, that you haven't? I might be a little too old for it right now, but um, there's a musical called Sunday in the Park with George, okay. and uh, the woman, uh, the protagonist is Dot, uh, and that's a part I would really love to do. It's a little obscure. Who's the Cute. funniest person you know? Oh, who's the funniest person? My husband. <laughs> that's a great <laughs> answer. Yeah. That's why I married him. There you go. Your yeah. last one, what's your favorite thing about Wisconsin? Um, uh, the space. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much space here. You can just spread out yeah. in the lake, you guys. Yeah. That lake Isn't Michigan. it beautiful? There's nothing better. Yeah. She's a beauty. My oldest daughter, who's now away in college, calls her Lady Mish, and she's yeah. like, she's my best gal. Yeah, I call her Lady Michigan, too. I understand. She's I understand. Yep. I feel drawn to it. It's like, yep. it's like a big magnet. I love it so much. So yep. cute. Now, people get a chance to meet you tonight. We got to talk about this. Okay. Skylight Music Theater hosting this wonderful thing. It is an evening with Kate Baldwin and Michael Unger. We didn't even talk about Michael oh, Unger. Yeah. Tonight, Great new director. Tonight at 7.30, it's at the Broadway Theater Center, which is located on, mysteriously enough, North Broadway. <laughs> you can call for tickets and information, 414-291-7800. Go to Skylight Music Theater. T R E at the end dot org to find out more. And then Skylight, the gala um, that you are also going to be supporting, which is wonderful, is Saturday, October 26th. That is at the same place. Look at same you, little web show address. There. You can get tickets, um, and it's going to be a really fun um, evening. Great, great event to raise money for this wonderful. Did you see that photo? Oh, yeah. Smoke I, show. I, I was, yeah, I, I did that. Look at yeah, you. gorgeous. That's, see, that's that, me. That's what, <laughs> yeah, I. What I like to say when people, when you wear something Sorry. like that, is you're wearing your breast well. <laughs> yeah. Much, you know? you like, after having a child. Yes. Yes. Wanna, Even show better. those girls. Yeah, wanna, Good yeah, for you. Look at you cover up. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, oh gosh, I do that. 
It's hot. You're yes. just trying to get people I'm there. I'm just touching my hair. Just, just, <laughs> just keep touching hair. your hair. Just like. Oh, it's so great to meet you. Uh, so nice thanks to for being here. Come so back much. anytime. Next Thank time, you. sing for us. Okay. Yeah. Just if warm I can up have early. That French toast that smells yes. so good. Yes. Stick around. It's all yours.